and unique collection of Nebraska Cornhusker memorabilia goes on the auction block this Friday. It belonged to longtime sports information director Don Bryant, who passed away a couple of years ago, and the proceeds will bolster a scholarship fund in his name. Mike McKnight takes us back through pieces of Husker history that you can take home with the highest bid. Memories you can touch, collected by the late Don Bryant, who lived and loved Cornhusker athletics. There was no way our family would save all this forever. Bill Bryant says his father would have wanted to share all he had collected. And it's great to be able to get it out amongst uh, Nebraska fans and collectors, too. To organize the sale, Bill needed a quarterback. This is basically a mint uh, program. Recruiting Jim Bubba Baker of Ford Auctioneers, who learned Don Bryant had a game plan for collecting. He would correspond the number to the game that they were playing that year. Up to 800 items will be auctioned off. Most of Don Bryant's memorabilia is recognizable. Football, Bear Bryant's hat, bowl game tickets. But did the Huskers ever play hockey? What looks like a puck is a slice of goalpost from the 1959 home upset of Oklahoma. Yeah, paperweight, and it was, it's been on every desk he's ever had. Don Bryant's legacy stretches from press box to White House and includes a national championship booklet signed by President Richard Nixon. It's been fun finding all the things that I had no idea he had, uh, but it, it's time to move on and go to the next step. And that's an auction of big game and big name memorabilia. I got 100, 110, 110, 15, 15, 120, 125, 30, 140, 40, and 50. In Lincoln, Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. Well, how much that Bear Bryant hat's going to go for? This is the information on the auction of Don Bryant Husker Collectibles. It's this Friday, the 16th, and fans can look over the items at 3 in the afternoon with bidding starting at 6. It takes place at the Shrine Center on Highway 77, just south of Lincoln.